Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today is flip through day. This is my illustrated journal and let's just dive right in. This might be a little bit chatty. Um, I always like to start my journal off with a quote. This says, I am grateful for all the moments that I have and I am moving forward one step at a time to the future. Um, and then in this journal, I told myself that the one thing that I wanted to do more was draw draw not only everyday things and botanicals but also something else like animals or I started off with animals and then you'll see I changed to something else towards the end. I'm still doing my memory keeping but I'm also drawing as well. How I memory keep is I really just bullet point something that happened that day that I want to remember and I write it. It's almost like just jotting down a story. So as you see, I really tried to focus on other things other than botanicals, two animals so far, some um, everyday objects, and I love my tabs in this one. More everyday objects, things that we did that day, like my kids and I played checkers. My son loves checkers. I did this while hanging out with Robin from Art Journal Girl on YouTube and Instagram, and I don't like it, but that's okay. Everyone, this would be my least favorite page in the whole book. Some more illustrations and memories. I really kind of played with like keeping things black and white and then um, obviously adding color. And I'm still using my ballpoint pen. I love the ballpoint pen. I love the watercolor. Uh, this is a quote and a pine cone. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. I love that, that's by Albert Einstein. Uh, this is another one of my favorite pages. I love the simplicity of just the one tone and just adding the different values of that one color. And so I kind of played with that some more here. I did a draw my day. I have this one actually um, recorded. I can link that in the description box for you. Um, I don't do this very often. I, I always say this, that I wanna do it more. I just, I don't for some reason. I do little odes to my kids every now and again. Uh, this was another hangout with Robin. This was my first girl. Um, you'll notice that I end up doing a lot more girls throughout here. Another little draw my day. I actually really like this one. Um, I got the Hobonichi and was trying different covers with them. My friends came to town, so I'm just doing a lot of documenting. You'll see when I do documenting like this, I love these little squares um, and then like splashes of watercolor. I do that quite a bit. Another botanical. Some more um, of those like square things and documenting. This was Thanksgiving. We had a really peaceful Thanksgiving. All we did was go out to eat. <laughs> Another animal, little turkey. Turkeys aren't the cutest, but I really like this illustration. Um, this was the very first of Create December, talking about how you can do a sketch a day maybe of your supplies, your favorite supplies. I really like uh, liked that idea. This was another girl um, thinking about like including, this was where I thought about including botanicals with the girl. And actually, speaking of that, once I kind of fiddled around with this idea, then I decided to make stickers. And this right here is Breathe. She is in my shop. She is teeny tiny. She is uh, one and a half inches tall. So you can see her on a field note size um, notebook. But uh, I really like her and she is new to the shop. Her name is Breathe. And she has um, little leaves in her hair, kind of like fluffing up her hair. So um, that's a new sticker, kind of like c going with this theme, you know, um, more documenting little stories about what's going on, obviously in our life. Um, this was a little story about poor my son because he, uh, his teachers did like um, a little gingerbread surprise and they said let's go find the gingerbread man and he did not like the idea of that he thought that the gingerbread man was scary so um, another botanical this is getting into Christmas so I'm trying different Christmas botanicals I added some white pen here 
Um, I think it looks nice on camera, but I don't like how it looks in person. So there's that. More squares and documenting. This was another one of my girls that I included the, um, the botanical with, and I included her with the botanical, but then I put the botanical behind her, and a light bulb just hit, and so I really thought about what I could be doing, and then I came up with this guy. And, well, she's not a guy, it's a girl. And her name is Blythe, and Blythe means to be carefree, and she's kind of resting her hands behind her head, and she's got the botanicals on the side, and she is new to my shop as well. I'm loving the, the combination of these. This was my first live with Robin. It was a lot of fun. And then I also included in, in a picture of what Robin got me for Christmas. Um, more Christmas documenting, um, pictures, photos. This was a Create December spread of all the things that I love um, and a little illustration of me. More Christmas spreads. I did this in a video. I can have the Create December playlist linked for you in the description box. Um, this, I, I love her. I think that she would be a really cool journal cover, however, or not journal cover, a um, pencil board, because if I'm gonna have a journal cover, I need the girl on the front, and so she would have to be on the right side. Uh, but this could do for a, um, for a pencil board. So this would be the front and this would be the back. I'm not sure, I'm just playing with ideas at the moment. More documenting. I actually did a tip-in. That never happens normally. I like to keep them as less chunky as possible. This was my, the first time I did Draw This In Your Style. Uh, the artist that originally did this was Sarah Faber, and I love her. She's on YouTube and she's on Instagram. Um, I really enjoyed the idea of the one tone again. I, I really like that, so I played with that a little bit later in my sketchbook or in this. More documenting. We actually went uh, home or back to um, the Midwest for Christmas. This uh, sticker is by Studio Katie. I can have her listed in the description box. But um, yeah, so we went home. This is another uh, Draw This In Your Style. I can list all the Draw This In Your Style artists that I have in this book, but you can also go to the hashtag Draw This In Your Style on Instagram and you will find a bunch of people doing it. More documenting, more squares. If something works for you and you like it, then do it because that's how you that's how you develop your style, by doing it over and over and over. People always kind of question, oh, how did you find your style? I found something I liked and I did it a lot, you know? Uh, same thing here, this is another draw this in your style. Again, I'll link everything in the description box for you. I really love this bee. I think you'll see more of a bee later in my next sketchbook. Um, I drew, uh, I illustrated a house for a friend for a Christmas present. She loved it, so I kind of did a little rend rendition in here as well. Here's another one, um, draw this in your style. Uh, I'm loving the botanicals in the background. I love everything about this. So this is something that I will continue for sure. This is not a draw this in your style. This is an original of mine. Um, I really liked th these uh, little flowers and uh, filling the background like this. Now this could easily be a journal cover or a pencil board. That would be the front, this would be the back. Um, so that is something that is doable. I would like to know if you guys think this is a good idea. I would like to retire some of my prints and start producing more prints for the shop, even um, journaling cards and things like that that you can cut up and use as ephemera. And then that's it, this is the end of the journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this journal flip. If you haven't seen these new stickers, go check them out, they're in my shop. Um, at the moment. I do have a few that um, are out of stock, but I will be uh, repurchasing them soon. So that is it, everyone. Um, um, until next time, I'll see ya.